If you know you are ashamed of something, then why are you doing it? My video message is just to tell you guys to be more conscientious and aware of decisions that you make before you make them. So many people live their life on their own terms. And it's okay for you to live your life on your own terms. But always remember that certain things you do can come back to bite you in the butt later on. And if you know that certain things you do would make you be embarrassed and ashamed, think twice about it. I can always tell when I have a casual or social conversation with someone if their former life or their current life is something that they're embarrassed of or ashamed of because you'll always hear them say something like this during the conversation. Well, I've done some things I'm not proud of. I've done some things I'm ashamed of. Well, only God can judge me. And I sit back and I look at people like that because in my mind, I'm saying to myself, why are they feeling the need to tell me that they've done some things that they're ashamed of or done some things they're uh, embarrassed about or only God can judge them? Do they feel I'm judging them? Do they feel the next man or woman is judging them? Because let me explain something to you people. When somebody first lays eyes on you, they already have a judgment and a perception about who they think you are. So you saying in a conversation, whether you're talking about your former life or something that you used to be involved in or something that you used to do, people make a choice to like you. Nobody's going to respect you more or less because you throw those things to them in a conversation. It does not matter. But I want you all to understand and stop being so open and trusting with people that know how you get down. And let me give you an example. Some of you right now, you may live your life and you do things that are immoral. You do things that are illegal. You do things that is impure or ungodly. And you believe that the person or the people that's involved in these situations with you would always keep your secrets and that information to themselves all the time. But when I tell you that in the future, you don't know how your situation or relationship is going to go with someone. And that's why you must always be careful and aware of who is in your life. Because people get angry sometimes when you dismiss them, when you cut them out of your life, and when you stop speaking to them for whatever your reason was. And what they will do is use against you to humiliate you and to embarrass you. They will go and tell people all the dirty, rotten, underhanded, conniving, low-down things you are involved in or the things you've been in to make you look stupid. So I want you all to get to a point, and this is your homework. I want you all to get to a point that you begin to think about certain things before you step out and you make a decision. I don't care if you do drugs. I don't care if you sleep around, if you gamble. I don't care if you drink. I don't care if you're a thief. I don't care if you actually murder people. Whatever it is you do, number one, you need to own who you are. And just a disclaimer on my end, I would never promote or tell you guys to live your life recklessly. And I would never give you guys advice or information and tell you to go out here and do certain things that can put yourself or your reputation at stake. But I understand that everybody is going to live their life the way that they want to. And you guys are going to do things that make you feel good, I guess, for the moment. But I'm just saying that in the midst of the thoughts, the emotions, and feelings that come to you. You have to be conscientious of them, and you have to also know that just because you feel and think a certain way does not mean that you act on it. All day, we change our minds. Our emotions sometimes go up and down, and we make different decisions for different reasons. But you have to be mature enough and understand that just because you are grown, just because you can do what you want to do, to a certain extent, does not mean that you act on it. So my video message is basically, and I'm going to go all the way back to what I said in the beginning. If you know 
you are embarrassed or ashamed of something, ask yourself, why am I doing it? If you cannot handle something that will come back to bite you in the butt or information that gets spread about you, or you can't handle people confronting you, not that you owe them an explanation, but if you cannot handle people approaching you about something that they heard about you, then you need to check yourself and stop doing certain things. Stop being involved in mess. Stop being involved in things that you know would ruin you. Some of you all, you're going somewhere in life. You're going up. And if you make a certain decision, it would not only cost you your marriage, your friendships, it can cost you the respect of your children, the respect of your family members that look up to you and that care about you. And it can also cost you your very career. And sometimes people don't think about that. Sometimes people feel like, well, I'm going to be at this level all my life. But if you're working towards something, if you know that you're going up, you have to be aware of certain decisions that you make in a company that you keep. That's my video message, guys. I love you.